On to five. All right. Is that where we're at? Yeah, five. Number five. Get off your ass and get moving. Yay. Get active. Stop sitting on the couch. This is real simple. Um, get up, you know, for somebody like myself who I, I enjoy going to the gym because for me it's like it's like Zen time. You know, you can kind of focus and, and just do your thing. Other people go to the gym to socialize. Other people go to the gym to just zone in. But a lot of people don't even like going to the gym. You know, when I talk about this to certain people, they're like, well, I don't want to go to the gym. I hate working out. I, I hate this. I don't like doing this. So. Find something you like. You know, if you don't like lifting weights, which are hands down the best thing for you, go find something you do like. Go take karate. Um, I see, I see in parking lots a bunch of mommy boot camps pushing with strollers, all in their yoga pants, out on a asphalt with their little strollers here, doing boot camps. So I mean, they're getting off their rear and doing something. So, you know, s swimming, CrossFit, golf, anything that gets you that you enjoy that you will keep doing at least, you know, three times a week is good. Um, I just started uh, uh, a couple weeks ago, I started taking a Krav Maga class, and Krav Maga, it's, it's not really a martial art, it's more like a, it's built for Israeli self-defense forces. They're like there's Really? That's forces. how it started? Yeah. Is That's it what like the, this is like the secret forces of Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is like Krav Maga. I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah, Krav Maga was like martial arts for Jesus. This this is what I did. Like my daughter takes karate, my daughter takes karate. I looked on uh, Groupon, and Groupon gives you, you know, like half off to let you try out physical activities and stuff. So I found a Groupon for Krav Maga. It's twenty bucks, and I got ten free classes for twenty bucks. So you get to go and try it out. If you want to like, keep going, then you go. But it, it allows you to test out certain activities. That's what I recommend. So I tried it out, and oh my god, it was a whip. And I was five minutes into it, I was just pouring sweat. So it's it's something like that. I mean, it, I would suggest Groupon or Living Social. Find something that's fun, and you know, and just stick with it. But you have to get active if you want to, you know, be healthy. And you can do a lot of the things we're talking about. But if you really want to just jump start, there's the word. Jumpstart your health. You got to get moving. You want to make it fun. You know, it's, I've been looking at these uh, this wearable tech. Have you been looking at the wearable tech stuff at all, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of neat. Like for instance, um, and there's rumor that Apple is developing one, and 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 so is Google Android. But right now, to sheep or somebody has. But the idea is that it's like a watch that talks to your phone. But the cool part about it is they're building in sensors that monitor your pulse and monitor your vitals. Right. through the day and it just plays into your own iPhone or Android device and the cool fun about that is is like uh, it, it also tracks how far you've walked you know that sort of thing things like that so it's gonna be interesting with these devices and stuff because once you start to see a little bar graph of your fat ass on the couch flatlining all day <laughs> <laughs> you know and your phone sends you a text message uh, it's like hey get off the couch there you go. Interesting, but that's a way to make it fun. So that was just my little. You know, yeah. A lot of people they'll go on Facebook saying, "Hey, what should I buy? Should I buy the Nike? What is it? Uh, Nike Fuel or the Jawbone? This or this or this? You know, and people are like, oh, I have this one. And I love this one and stuff like that. That makes it fun. That keeps it interactive. Yeah. The other weird thing was I was I I'm, I just joined a 24-hour fitness. I'm back to 24-hour fitness. I was there 10, 15 years ago when I started this whole damn thing. And I'm, but I, now I've made it in life, Damon. I'm at like the the the, the prime 24-hour fitness. If you want to use that word. <laughs> and the guy, the sales guy, is like, oh yeah, everything is digital interactive now. You know, you can just log in with your 24-hour fitness thing and. If you want, you can post your results on Facebook. I'm like, fuck you. I'm not posting my results on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? like, this whole trend of like software and stuff, to like, I just did 20 push-ups. It's like, no, no, we're not talking about that. Yeah. That's the, you. the weird side. Yeah. It looks like we lost Danae there for a second. But. You know, I, 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 sometimes when I go to the gym, I'll check in on Facebook. But I actually I, I look that up, and it's in the top five annoying things that you do. You know, when you have yeah. that friend, that friend who in the middle of the day is at the gym, you're like, screw you, man. And they're sitting there bragging. So I stopped doing that as best I can because I didn't know that was annoying to people. But well, it's annoying to anyone who's not getting off their ass and not going to the gym, you know? True. All right. Oops, that's